Have a look, Sunin. Distant thunder. Thor walks with us. Eivor, chill belt. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Anir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but as you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chill, Bat. Listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Lerichester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. I shouldn't be it's not here. take long. I hope you will. I'm Lati, ti priv. Thank you. 
devil! Here comes an ear! He's roaring in like a winter sea! this masterpiece! Eivor! Did you see Trailbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Trailbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport? There's no chance the fish will kill me.
here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Water spoiling with them. Hooked. Bring it to shore. Bring it to shore. Mm. Another eel. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Bring it to shore. That's enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups.
We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Have you seen Chaelbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Ardaling. Ask another! I am looking for Chaelbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. He 
Ivor, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chelbert? Chel... Bert? Did none of you see Chelbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. Nice nab? That's a low thing to do to a man. Hm. I am looking for Chelbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain. South of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you. Aid me, be my eyes.
happened here? This doesn't look good. Jailbat's bow. Dropped. Gilbert. Tears of Freya. Uh, uh, Gilbert, I... you live. I... Uh... Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Shh, save your strength. Here, faster this way. Just breathe, Gilbert. We'll soon be there. Some help here! By the hand of Thor! Is that the art? Eivor! What happened? No! No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him deep in a cave beset by wolves. Eivor... Easy, boy! Easy! E... Eivor... Get me an axe! Right fucking now! Eivor... He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened.
Your war is back on. What? He was killed with this. The Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolov, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrid. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered? May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. He will want the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. Is that the art? How are you holding up, Bishop? I am gutted by this loss. Cherubert would have made a good elderman. And one day, a fine king. forged by Viking battle wisdom and Christian compassion. A formidable man he would have been. You men, mount up and follow me. There's work to be done. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodri's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quartford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. They have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my drangir sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. There they are. Oh, line. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one. Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon, my itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack.
Ivar's men waste no time. They're eager to pay out our revenge.
There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. Apparently the Franks have had some success with towers at riverbends and fortified bridges. That could work, but it'd take a lot of manning. There is nothing holy to these heathens, save blood and plunder, perhaps. No man wanted that job. We need to start defending the mouths of all our rivers, even the ones that don't know. Arul Leche or Henry from the Wild Days. That's where it feels so good. I've been working. Ah, ban. Eivor, I'm ready to get back at them Britons. You'll not see me lagging behind doing nothing but looting corpses. Not this time. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. <sighs> Ragnarsson, how is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man. Playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rodri, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. the cart, boy. We will light it up in front of the gate. Get the wagon to the gate. They're sending soldiers to stop our carts. Ah! 
armed of Kalameta. That's clever. a pitiful dragon. old oak he's not dead no i have something else planned spectacle remember the man is dying come away and let the nordnir spin his fate oh no this will be good i have something specific in mind a place and a method come not just now. I'll return when I'm ready. So be it. We will be waiting. Right, Rodri, old friend?
Mm, Thor lends me strength. Let us take King Rodri to a spot he will find breathtaking. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, oh, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri! Are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here 
there we are. Bring him close. up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this...? The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. Fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death, you and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then, nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! Things a man must do, the trials one must face, the friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny, and become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! A storm of mindless chaos! Mindless?
Ah, in my younger days, you would be dead by now. Watch out! Hold a moment, Eivor. Ah, let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Go again! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Uh, do not shame him. Carry the body to Quadford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead. Day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You? After peace was made, Eva murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Eivor gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship. For his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. 
Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. As one sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's horn of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire an ally. I should confer with Randvi. told everyone he was Christian. He was not. He was one of us. He only wanted the silver and the swords for his men of Mercia. And you have kept his tradition going? Without flinching. Without hesitating. Offa would be proud of me. You must have seen 100 summers, old man. It feels thus.